and a deputy on paid leave. And we are learning that that deputy was initially called to the house because of a panic alarm that was set off. 7 News reporter Kirsten Glavin joining us live tonight from the law enforcement with the very latest on what exactly happened, Kirsten. Uh, well, this all happened just before midnight last night. We're told the deputy went up to the house to see what was wrong, but was greeted by the homeowner who was holding a gun. What's normally a quiet neighborhood was flooded with law enforcement Thursday night after reports of a deputy involved shooting on East Crest Drive. It's, spook. it's a little spooky. Cooper Guest had just pulled into his driveway when he says he heard shouting followed by gunshots. I turned around and tried to kind of figure out what was going on and that's when I heard gunshots. So you know, I beelined and ran inside as fast as I could. He says he woke his parents up and went back outside to see what was going on. We all came out here. We were all sitting in the cul-de-sac just watching. They, they came out, our neighbors came out, and we were just kind of sitting here talking and watching everything happen, trying to figure out what was happening. According to the Greenville County Sheriff's Office, a deputy received a notification that a panic alert had been set off from the house. They say he went to the door and was greeted by the homeowner who had a gun.